In Cape Breton, they're talking about a close call at a beach where four swimmers got caught up in the surf. They fortunately were pulled from the water. CTV's Ryan McDonald spoke with some of the rescuers. The waves at Blackbrook Beach along the Cabot Trail weren't huge today, but according to these two former lifeguards, it was a different story yesterday. They were clearly caught in the in the currents, in the undertow. The waves coming in were eight and, feet, eight and ten feet um, high. Charlotte McDonald and Maura Purcell, along with Purcell's sister Caitlin, rushed into the water to help four people who had gotten caught up in high swells and rip currents, including one man they say was caught against some rocks and was in some distress. He was trying to get out onto the rocks and he was just being washed around and I grabbed him and was able to wedge ourselves between two rocks and then Charlotte and another man arrived and were able to assist him to get to shore and I climbed up on the rocks with the other three people that were there. We've heard the stories of Peggy's Cove and people getting washed off the rocks but there are many more Peggy's Coves around the province. Paul Dion of the Nova Scotia Lifeguard Service says there have been many examples over the years of how storm surge can be life-threatening and that with Ernesto passing by, there are shorelines today where people should be careful. The eastern shore and the south shore have significant surf right now, up to two and three meter surf, and that uh, gets into a point where it's quite dangerous. There's some beaches that you just know have a stronger undertow and current and a bigger risk, um, and this is one of them. Back at Blackbrook Beach, some say yesterday's incident goes to show it should have lifeguards. Parks Canada told us today it's an unsupervised beach and always has been, and that unless there are signs saying swimming is prohibited or the beach is closed, it's up to each individual to assess the conditions, including checking local surf and weather reports. The rescuers say there were 8 to 10 people who helped out yesterday in some way. It was good that we were here and we had a positive outcome, but I'm sure if we weren't, somebody else in the community would be able to help as well. A close call and perhaps a cautionary tale. Ryan McDonald, CTV News in Ganesh, Nova Scotia.